This video demonstrates Simulation Solutions generic reverse osmosis desalination simulator, which consists of a digital control system with four unique schematics, as well as a 3D virtual reality outside operator, which is paired to the DCS. Like all Simulation Solutions modules, these two programs are two-way communicable, such that any change made on the DCS will also be represented on the outside operator, and of course, vice versa. This reverse osmosis desalination process is used to remove salt from ocean water, with the main product being fresh water and the byproduct being brine flow, which is returned to the sea. Reverse osmosis desalination uses the principles of membrane separation by forcing water through a semi-permeable membrane to separate salt from water. Initially, the salt water feed passes through a multimedia filter to remove larger components from the ocean water. This salt water then passes through a set of 20 cylindrical membranes. High pressure pumps are used to increase the pressure of the salt water stream to overcome the natural osmotic pressure of the membrane and force predominantly fresh water to the other side. This results in a fresh water product stream and a concentrated brine stream. Concentrated salt water feed at a concentration of 52.2 microsiemens per centimeter is pumped through a multimedia filter at 45.4 cubic meters per hour using a centrifugal pump. It is important to note that the flow rate of this stream is controlled using a flow controller. In the event of pump failure, there is also a backup salt water pump to maintain normal operation. Once this stream passes through the multimedia filter to remove large components, the stream then moves to a high pressure pump. Before the salt water can be filtered through the semi-permeable membrane, it must pass through a high pressure pump in order to overcome the osmotic pressure of the membranes. The semi-permeable membranes allow minimal salt to pass through, while clean water can pass through with relative ease. Once the dilute water passes through the membrane, a fresh water pump is used to bring this clean water to its desired destination. Unlike the fresh water stream, the concentrated brine stream is disposed of and returned to the ocean. It is important to note that both the high pressure pump and fresh water pump include backup pumps in order to maintain normal operation in the event of pump failure. The pressure of the salt water entering the membrane is controlled using a pressure controller and is maintained at about 82.7 bars. At design conditions, the clean water product is at a salinity of 1.8 microsiemens per centimeter, which is much lower than the salinity of the feed. The flush system is a process flow diagram which includes an overview of the system and the entire block valve scheme. These block valves are used to direct flush water in the event of clogging of the filter or membranes in abnormal situations. Now, we are going to look at the 3D virtual reality outside operator. I will demonstrate what would happen if the operator chose to close saltwater pump P101A for maintenance and chose to turn on spare pump P101B and, of course, see how this is reflected on the DCS. So, as you can see on the DCS screen, pump P101A is green, indicating that it is on and operating. Consequently, pump P101B is red, indicating that it is off. It is important to note that both pumps should not be on or off at the same time if normal operations are to be maintained. So now, we go to the outside operator, and we will go to the saltwater pump. So let's run the system. And if we start pump B and stop pump A, we will see on the DCS that P101A is now red and P101B is now green, indicating that it is on. Something to note is that the pressure in pump P101A decreased and is now at zero. This is because it is no longer operating. P101B will increase its pressure over time to ensure that the applied pressure is greater than the osmotic pressure so that the system works appropriately. Consequently, uh, in that 
period of time where uh, pump P101B is increasing its pressure and P10A is turned off, we would expect the outlet salinity for the freshwater product to deviate a bit, uh, but will eventually return to its normal state of 1.8 microsiemens per centimeter. So now we will go on a quick tour of 3D virtual reality outside operator. So I just showed you the saltwater pumps. Here are the high pressure pump. And here are the freshwater product pumps. And now I will take you to see the 20 cylindrical membranes. And here they are. As you could see throughout the 3D virtual reality outside operator, there's many valves to operate and any change made on the outside operator will be reflected on the DCS and of course, vice versa. For more information on the reverse osmosis desalination simulator or any other simulation solutions products, please call 732-389-5400 or go online to www.simulationsolutions.com.